Hi, welcome to another episode of the My Fragrance Journey channel. Um, 2023 has been a very, very busy month. You know, January um, releases galore. February hasn't been any different, I must say. Um, so here I'm sitting with a list of uh, six recently announced um, uh, 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 yeah, fragrance releases from most of the major um, uh, designer houses like CK, Calvin Klein, Bulgari, Givenchy, um, Carolina Herrera, etc. So just to kick off uh, the, the video, the first one up is Kenzo Omeri. So this is a fresh aquatic. Yeah, shout out to ifragrance.com. That's where all this knowledge is coming from. And um, here, um, so this uh, uh, Kenzo Ohm Marie joins the line of um, Kenzo Ohm fragrances like Kenzo Ohm, Kenzo Ohm Intense, and then uh, Kenzo Eau de Parfum. So there's three, two, two EDTs and then the perform and then this is the third edt the um, edt marine so the note here are described as an opening of marine water meets the smile of ylang ylang mm, very interesting i don't know what the hell that means but hey sounds good um with the creamy sandalwood and clean mask for the central base of the perfume so let's just have a look at um what they say about the the fragrance yeah so the perfumer and this is quinton birch um and um uh, just a quick um the bottle follows the line obviously of the bamboo shoot that's been slashed you know um like that and then i let me just just have a read um marine as i call it from here on out is inspired by a dip in the ocean on a sunny day the aroma of salty and freshness that clings to your skin while glistening in the summer rain an opening of marine water meets the smile of a lang a lang a creamy sandalwood and clean musk for the central base of the perfume so that's how it's um uh, described in the marketing spew here um yeah so uh, Kenzo Ohm EDT Marine is the release from the house of Kenzo. Um, the next one is from the house of Bulgari, joining, uh, the, joining the long list of the Bulgari men line. So um, this one would line up against um, the glacial essence, terra essence, wood essence, sort of mid line of flankers within the bulgari man line so this is um bulgari man uh, rain essence uh, top notes here are green tea orange and orange in the and then the mid is white lotus and crystal mask um, i've never heard of crystal mask but there you go and then the base is gaia wood and mineral amber so a bit of a freshy there um watery freshy flowery um yeah very interesting notes there i wonder what it would actually smell like um, so definitely one of those that i'll have my eye on you know at a good price of course so the marketing that they have on this one they say although it is inspired by rain it seems to be more centered towards a summer rain judging by the notes i would say this scent leans more on the fresh side than ozonic so yeah let's Ozonic, aquatic, and more um, fresh, they, they describe here. Yeah? The fragrance opens with a springy green tea, fresh orange, and creates the, the grass and sunshine that paints a picturesque photo of the rain, summer rain. White lotus blooms in the heart, which bestows more green, greenery with a touch of wet earthiness and, a, and the shimmer of crystalline musk. The base grounds the scent with a mineral amber accord and Gaia wood. Mm, nice description, but hey, until we get the fragrance and smell what it's like, then we'll have a, a good idea of what it smells like. The third one, um, uh, new release here, is from the La Collection uh, Particulaire, so the particular collection of uh, from the house of Givenchy so this one is Folsom Blanc, Givenchy Folsom Blanc um, top notes here uh, essence of frankincense from Somalia um, the mid is white flower and amber notes of 
Mel de Provence, probably in France, Provence, France. And then the base, warm, rich, and elegant sandalwood, mixed with the essence of oud wood from Malaysia. So very woody, lots of woods here. Um, so very manly type of scent, this one. Very interesting. So from the collect la, la Collection Particular, um, from the house of Givenchy. Um, the third release, um, or I mean the fourth release is from the house of Chopard. So the house of Chopard, um, this one is Sida Malaki, um, and it comes all as the third uh, in the lineup from this house, the house of Chopard. So we've got um, uh, black incense Malaki, we've got oud Malaki, and this one would be the Sida Malaki. Um, the then top notes here, grapefruit, cardamom, lavender, Artemisia. Then in the mid, you've got Moroccan Atlas Cedar uh, and Lebanon Cedar. So woody, very woody in the middle. And then um, the base is Cipro, Lebdanum, Tonka Bean and Patchouli. So creamy sort of aspects here. Um, very, very interesting. Let me just see if I can find any nice uh, marketing that they... Um, uh, sell this uh, fragrance on. Okay, there you go. Okay, Cedar Malaki is a song sung through the picturesque forests of the Mediterranean. Hmm. Okay, incorporating the noble cedar essences from Lebanon and Morocco, the fragrance has the region built into its cold. A kiss of fresh grapefruit with the warm cardamom, with the warm cardamom, greets you upon the initial spread. Mm, very interesting. Yeah. So uh, from the house of Chopard, Cedar Malaki, joining the Malaki collection, Oud Malaki, and then Black Incense Malaki uh, to make it three from that line. Um, and then from the house of Karina Herrera, um, um, from the house of Karina Herrera, from the collection, is this the special collection? What do you call it? Um, Okay, notes here of the stallion leather are smoky um, leather accord, so smoky leather accord, so a lot of, yeah, smoky leather accord and ginger type of, uh, a very manly type of scent, I would say, um, with ginger, and then the mid here is osmanthus and jasmine, and then uh, the base here you've got sisters, the labdanum, and patchouli, so very interesting, um, dark type of scent. So the marketing here goes as follows. Stallion leather strikes the perfect balance between power and elegance, just like its namesake, as well as the philosophy of Carolina Herrera's iconic fashion collection. It is a fancy ambering leathery florally, fl floral that arrives in an EDP concentration. Um, the smoky leather accord brings about that sense of strength while the sweet and delicate jasmine, um, uh, Mrs. Herrera's uh, flower of choice softens up the blend to achieve that harmony and balance between power and sensuality. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, from the Carolina Herrera uh, collection uh, line, um, Stylon Leather, very interesting name. Um, yeah, nothing more to say about that, but they talk about power meets sensuality so it's a it's a dark and flowery type of scent um, very interesting um, it's not probably not going to be for everyone though you know um, some of these leather uh, scents can be a bit too harsh and a bit polarizing in a way but yeah uh, if you're into this kind of stuff well I'm, I'm into this kind of stuff so yeah one day I'll get myself one of these but not now um, and then the last one on the list um, is from the house of Calvin Klein one, uh, no, Calvin Klein, the CK1 line, um, Reflections. So this is a fresh and green type of fragrance. And um, top notes here are ginger and lemon, uh, metal sparkling green iced tea, whatever that is, but just iced tea in the mid. And then woody notes of musk. Um, woody note of must be very interesting how they would see so the marketing uh, goes as follows um, CK1 reflections aims at that nonchalant and carefree time with friends and family 
uh, when people used to share intimate moments under the warm sun. The perfumer was able to encapsulate those feelings through a careful and smart use of uh, specific notes in the composition. The fragrance opens with notes of natural ginger and tangy lemon. The heart floats uh, the hard flawed sparkling green iced tea, which makes this release stand out among its peers. The base notes wrap up everything as it should uh, with warm and woody notes of musk. Mm, very interesting. Um, yeah, these CK1 fragrances are always pushed out. Summer. There's always a summertime edition or something, but this one seems like a, a bit of a standalone type of scent uh, rather than a summer edition. Uh, of, of the CK1 uh, range. With that said, just six for now. I don't know. Uh, it's end of the month now. I don't know what other uh, but, uh, releases uh, would be um, come out before the end of uh, Feb. Um, not much, I think. But yeah, that's it. The six for now is what I think is worth mentioning. Yeah, so till next time, please like and subscribe to the channel. Peace.